Yeah, and then like, and then it was like, oh, this is like a cool like fucking underground thing. It was like, here's a bunch of dumb bullshit. <laughs> How's it going? This is the F Plus Podcast. Terrible things, red with enthusiasm. My name's Lemon. I'm Boots Rain Gear. Boots, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. It's a good. Sunday, uh, yeah, it is. Sunday, which uh, when we're recording this, which means uh, I would normally go to church if I were the kind of person that goes to church. Sure, that's a big if. All right, but but I don't worship, you know, some some Christian god. Yeah, that's for sheeple. Yeah. What what do you worship? Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, the Marvel, uh, yeah, thing? The, the 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 guy from Marvel. Sure. So how does how does that how does that work? Okay. Well, uh, on uh, on uh, every evening, uh, as the uh, as the moon is rising, I uh, I put on a cape. This I, is a uh, really strange Creedence Clearwater song. Go ahead. I, I put on a crepe and I, I you put I, on a crepe. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Is it a savory crepe or a sweet crepe? <laughs> it's a savory crepe. Okay, go on. <laughs> and I uh, and I and I uh, I say a prayer to uh, to Modok and to a uh, Squirrel Girl uh, <laughs> sure. uh, to, that they will protect and uh, and preserve uh, Doctor Strange for all of uh, eternity. Uh, hey, uh, I want you to look down. I want you to look down, and I want you to to uh, see the um, the rails. And then I want you to see the uh, intro that we're doing right now, <laughs> which is off, off the rails. Anyway, uh, what we have tonight is a uh, an episode on pop culture pagans, uh, people like Mr. Raingear described himself, um, people who uh, worship. Oh, what what are some of the what are some of the worship figures? There's, uh, there's Batman. There's Batman, obviously Batman. Iron Man. Iron Man. Harry Potter. Sure. And. A couple little surprises that I don't want to spoil yet. Right, right. So if you've had enough with Muhammad and uh, Yahweh and all of that shit, the new time for a new religion is now. Readers assemble! In the room tonight, we have Boots Rain Gear. Catwoman and I go way back, but I've since developed a particularly special bond with Alfred. It's fun. Instead of a crucifix, there will be a USB drive full of Iron Man comics, because... <laughs> Jack, Jack! But what the hell does this have to do with Batman? <laughs> Come quads up! I have a spirit guide of sorts named Davy Jones. I also have a ghost dog that follows me around. <laughs> and Lemon. Since I dropped out of college, I found myself becoming a devotee of Loki, a wicked witch, and a curse and a curse worker, a fortune teller, and the girlfriend of an atheist political philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so interesting. <laughs> Lemon. Oh shit! I'm late. Um, what would you say are your personal gods? Like, like who you know in your moments? Fucking of... Lemmy. Lemmy. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's what I thought. Uh, lobster hands. Lemmy. Okay. <laughs> lobster hands. Most most people elect to have a god that showers, but you went for Lemmy instead. Um, so that's you know that's that's one option. Um, I want to introduce you to the world of pop culture pagans. Um, hmm. these are people who, uh, are really, really into, um, general bits of pop culture, comic book heroes, um, video game heroes and the like, uh, to the point where their religion is actually founded on, um, the thing that they like, because there is no bottom to the horribleness that fandom can create. Yes, I'm, I'm sure this was this was ha this happened organically and not as a result of trying to one up other fans <laughs> constantly. No, that that wouldn't that wouldn't happen. All right, well, let me introduce you to our first god. Uh, his name is Batman. Uh, we are going to go to <laughs> sonsofthebatman.blogspot.com and uh, boots if you'll get us started here. Sure. Um, uh, yes. Before you do anything, can you read the subtitle of the site? The Yes. 
Uh, I like, I like. Well, the, the title is impossible to read, right. so I'll have to read the subtitle. If you hover over it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. That's that's good feature. Yep. Uh, this is the Sons of the Batman. Mm, I will, could you elaborate on that? Uh, yes, a magical order dedicated to the spiritual model provided by the world's greatest urban shaman, the Batman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Which? What? Which? Uh, which? Which Batman? Like. Are we talking about the, Michael Keaton? Are we talking about uh, Val Kilmer? Like, which is the greatest urban shaman? I, I believe I believe this I is think the those comic are book just Batman. Like fleshy though. incarnations of the, the Batman. Comic book of him? I, I really think it's got to be <laughs> Val Kilmer. This is the Batman as envisioned in, in detective comics. All right, take it take it away. I'm going to tell you about the optional paradigms. Good. Of the religion of Batmaniness. Uh thought form universe mm-hmm. the batman is a thought form created in 1939 in the 73 years since millions have contributed to the thought form deepening its archetypal resonance i don't think that's now, true i think that probably only a few people have actually contributed to it in any meaningful way what percentage of the population do you think has typed the word thought por- thought form and what percentage of that are pricks mm. zero one hundred <laughs> heavy percent wait wait <laughs> Oh, it's huh. rounded down. Okay. Yeah. Statistically <laughs> insignificant from zero. Yeah, point zero 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 one percent Adjusted for inflation, dicks. <laughs> <laughs> now we have an autonomous entity that exists and calls itself Batman. Oh. Or one that appears to believe that it is Batman. Or maybe something else entirely. <laughs> You're not Either Batman. Way. I know Batman, <laughs> and you, sir, are no Batman. <laughs> Either way, it reacts as though it were real and seems to have an existence that can be experienced. Sure. Are you going to start making sense soon? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thought no. Maybe. Nope, nope. And now, higher reality download. Oh, I think we're on a good track now. Hey. <laughs> the Batman has always existed and was channeled through Bill Finger and crew as they rushed out a character to make their boss happy. They probably never thought of their creation as a cultural icon, and they just happened to be the perfect channels for the Batman to manifest through. They did not expect Sweet. the lameness of the internet. Yeah. Yay! Uh, Boots, would you please, uh, don't actually read the articles on the sidebar, but I'd just like to give you, you if you'd give me the, the titles of the posts in the sidebar. Sure. The the first post on this on on the site is the tenets of the sons of the Batman. No 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 the other side the popular posts. Oh the oh the other side popular popular posts about this bullshit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sipping on debt haterade, <laughs> or why pagans can be worse than fundamentalists. Your first title was better. <laughs> first title was definitely better. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, the cat and the bat. Hmm. Yep. Uh, need help witnessing to a friend? Batman witnessing? <laughs> you heard the, hey there, uh, hey there, I'm Elder Johnson. Have you heard the good news about Batman? Oh, wow, yeah, it's an actual, like, Batman, like, chick tract that you can yeah. print out and give to people that you oh, all shit, really? Do you have yep. a few moments to talk about Bruce Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Smile, the Batman loves you. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, the tenets of the sons of the Batman. And... Please do not look directly at the bat signal. (laughs) The Raiders of the Lost Ark shit is going to (laughs) happen. That's how Commissioner Gordon's face melted. Oh my god! (laughs) Click on the click click on the bat signal one. Well, no, because I already clicked on the uh, need help witnessing to a friend. Printed up the I printed up the chick tract, and I just want to read it to you. Or I'm sorry, the the bat tract. Well, no, it's here. Here, let me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling unwanted, unloved, confused? There is someone who cares about you and loves you very much. That person is the Batman. Oh. It would be at this point that I walk away. (laughs) No, no, no. No, I have more. I have more. Let go of my sleeve. There's no way way I'd walk away from this guy. (laughs) I'd be concerned for my safety. All right, here. The Batman wants to give you a free gift. The gift of ego annihilation and fellowship with him here on Earth. (laughs) Yeah. And, and him and 
What him when you refer to Batman is capitalized, of course. Yes. As it says in Batman and the Outsiders number two, you are all looking for something, and I can help you find it. Whether it's the proper way to use your powers, or who you really are, or simply some kind of purpose in your lives. Bar. I guess that's the writer who wrote that. Uh, yeah, uh, Roseanne. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, so the, these the holy texts are the actual Batman comics. I assume so. I mean, yeah, you yeah. always yeah you need you need source material. All you have to do to receive this gift is to accept that Gotham City is inside you and ask the Batman into your heart. <laughs> Whoa! Are we sure this isn't like a parody? Uh, no, I don't think it is. There certainly is a lot of text for this to be a parody. This isn't even creative. It's just the. It's just the Protestant way of doing things. <laughs> it's the Protestant model with Batman control v would in. <laughs> to become a son of the Batman, you must believe that he is the perfect being, that he died fighting the god of evil to save you. <laughs> Joker, I guess. And yeah, that guess. he returned across space and time to become a god. Will you be a son of Batman? If so, believe with all your heart and pray to him, saying, Oh, Batman, be merciful to me. Come into my heart, caped crusader, and make me the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you, Dark Knight, for saving me and loving me. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, in the Book of Miller, he did say, he I am the motherfucking Batman. <laughs> No, are, so, are you sure this wouldn't creep you out at least a little bit? Uh, it so, would take a while. I think I think I, it would be just too yeah, amused. I, the, yeah. When, that point when you realize these guys aren't just having fun and are totally serious. I don't understand how a tract from the Bible contains a comic, yet a tract based on a comic cannot have a comic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's hmm. a good question. Oh, the, the chick tracks that... Well, <laughs> these uh, people obviously are not comic artists. So, so this is uh, this is paganism, uh, which means that uh, in the religion of the Batman, there are spells. <laughs> oh, good, <laughs> sweet. Um, Kumquats, would you give us the uh, invocation of Gotham City? <laughs> so, invoke Gotham City upon us. Number one. Standing in a relaxed position, face the east, okay. or most prominent window in the room. <laughs> this window will <laughs> henceforth be considered east. <laughs> well, Bend the cardinal directions my... to your will. <laughs> Move Mecca close with enough. your mind. I could have gone into the dining room, but there's a nice bay window in the living room, so east is west now. I don't know why you need a window to pray? Okay, whatever. Number two. Begin the fourfold breath. It's like a Windsor knot of breathing. I, ar I already know how to do that from the uh, Chi episode. <laughs> right. Number three. Visualize Gotham City rising from the front surface of your body. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> sure. On it. You're forcing yep. yourself to trip balls now. <laughs> but now it's going to smash through the window. <laughs> no, maybe it'll just sit on your chest. <laughs> Just be like Just, having a city on your chest. I need I need to erect Gotham City. Uh, <laughs> make this visualization as detailed or as vague as you like. <laughs> of okay. course. Uh, yeah, yeah, no get problem. Get passive aggressive with me. Shit. I think you've yeah. already done that, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number four. Yep. Visualize an unlit bat signal on your solar plexus. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> this this is <clears throat> done. <laughs> Number five. Say, I shall become a bat. I shall I become, shall a, bat. become, become a, bat. a bat. Number six. Visualize a white light above your head. As you breathe in, the light draws a line down through your head <laughs> into the signal. When it hits the signal, it lights, projecting yep. <laughs> the bat symbol to the east. Let the light fade away. Oh my god, there's a there's city a... coming out of my nipple! So the light is coming down into the bat signal that should be originating the light? No, well, so the, the light comes from above your head and then forms a straight line that goes then through the center of your head to the bat signal that's on your chest. 
No. So so the bat signal is receiving light. It's not giving light out like the actual right. bat signal. Uh, it's right. more like Iron, it's more like Iron Man. I uh I I've actually felt kind of bad for Batman, you know, with the whole like parents being dead thing. Mm-hmm. Um come quite uh will you scroll down to the bottom of that page and um bring Batman's family back to life? <laughs> Okay, yeah, good. I don't know why anybody didn't think of this sooner. <laughs> <laughs> the whole, whole storyline could have just gone oh, up. Come on, this is oh, comic my parents book are dead. Writing. Oh, my parents are back ha- alive. Well, this no, is comic no, book problem. writing. You can't just make characters come back to life. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Evocation of the Bat Family. Okay. <laughs> Oh, see, the Bat family doesn't include his parents. That, uh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah. Oh. No, it's like, you know, Batgirl and Robin and Alfred. And Man, yeah, you you are going to be the Portex of this episode, aren't you? Yay! <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> so can anybody else tell who reads comic books here? <laughs> <laughs> Remain facing east for the duration of the ritual. East, True what east or fake east? <laughs> what, what, Conven- what is their obsession yeah. with uh, east? Is it bat east, east or convenient east? <laughs> That's like, yeah, bad east. <laughs> yeah. Rem- Number one. If you have lost the visualization of yourself as Gotham, by this time, as I usually do, <laughs> take a moment to read. What? Yeah, I, what? I am unconfident in my ability to project Gotham out of my own stomach. <laughs> you know, well, no, no, just, just maintaining it. I have a city like, coming out of me. I, you know, wait. Yeah. We assume you have really terrible things uh, after that. But this just away. implied that I was to make my entire person Gotham City. <laughs> Keep going. Number two. In the East, visualize Barbara Gordon in any of her aspects. Batgirl Oracle. <laughs> okay. Uh, call out Barbara Gordon. <laughs> Barbara Gordon! <laughs> she turns her back to you, guarding the, the east. What the hell, bitch? <laughs> just summoned you and now you <laughs> just completely <laughs> shut me out. Just like looking that? out that window instead. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, number three. Yep. In the West, visualize Dick Grayson in any of his aspects. Okay. Batman, Nightwing, Robin. <laughs> sure. Call out Dick Grayson. He turns his back to you, guarding the West. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> now I'm being yep. ignored by two people. Yeah, this is yep. like a cocktail party for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bat cocktail. Party. Number four. <laughs> in the South, visualize Jim Gordon. Well, let me guess. Do I get to call out Jim Gordon? Well, in any of his aspects. Jim Gordon. Yeah, he's just a Gordon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call out okay, Jim good. Gordon. Commissioner he Gordon. Back to you, a bottle Gordon of Gordon's Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Chicken in the Gordon North, visualize Alfred Pennyworth. Call out Alfred Pennyworth. He turns his back to you, guarding the North. Well, that is unacceptable. Shouldn't he be my butler? But, hey, yeah. He assumes your command is going to be guard the North, Alfred. <laughs> I would specify that. I don't want my butlers to anticipate my needs that strongly. Number six. Hold all the images. Hold them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've accumulated until they are settled in Wikipedia. Wikipedia <laughs> <laughs> article on lesser ritual of the pentagram. Good. Well, I'm not sure what that did, but I'm sure it was super helpful. Yeah, me, I modify that now. It's a lesser ritual of the Batman square. <laughs> Just hold until they're settled in. You know, until they get their their stuff out of storage and they get their chairs in. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, and then and then they should be they should be good to live in the city. The Gotham City by themselves. So there's a uh, in your chest. So we're gonna we're gonna speed along through mm-hmm. these spells here. Um, we've already um, summoned Gotham City. Then mm-hmm. we okay. in, uh, summoned some people that live in Gotham City. Um, mm-hmm. So now we're gonna get into some more advanced shit. Um, uh, once you feel like you've mastered the banishing ritual of the bat signal, 
uh, or the BRBS wink, it's time. It'll be time to jump into invocation as opposed to evocation. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Will, will you inflame thyself with prayer? Inflame thyself with prayer. Oh, it's a spooky spell. <laughs> Our first goal is to absorb as much information about the Batman as possible. Yay! I get to read comic books. Yes. Yay! <laughs> <The> excuse. Yay. <laughs> Spend a few days devoting any spare thought to him, <laughs> which for these people probably would not be that big of a, of a jump. You clearly aren't doing that yeah. already. You are on a Religion of Batman site. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who he is and how he came to be. Watch Batman movies and TV shows, <laughs> but not that Joel <laughs> Schumacher shit. That shit sucks. No, that's not <laughs> Listen to Batman soundtracks. <laughs> oh, just bat, bat dance on repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Does that, Hold me, does that include me, like the me, 60s me. shitty Batman? Like... No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Read the comics, of course. Wear your favorite wow. Batman shirt like it was a WWJD tee. <laughs> Wait, that makes Because oh, goodness knows bad. people get respect for wearing that. Aren't those normally bracelets? Yeah, I'm I sure that that. Oh yeah, a... yeah. I mean, God knows, you know, like uh, like fundamentalist Christians like merchandising the hell out of a simple concept. You can't imagine that that happens. <laughs> okay. But the, you know, get one of those bat signal stickers for the back of your car. Yep. Eat shit, sleep, Batman. <laughs> At the height of you self-induced bat frenzy, write your invocation. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work uh, accomplishing a Batman shit. <laughs> 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 Nicholas, did you look for a job today? <laughs> Quiet, Mom, I'm reaching Nirvana. <laughs> I just shit a pure Batman. According to Hein, there are three steps to a devotional invocation. One, sure. okay. deeds of the entity are told in the third person. Two, qualities of the entity are described in the second person. Three, okay. powers of the entity are spoken of in the first person. This invocation can take any form. Liturgical prayer seems to be the most common, but poetry, songs, prose, or artistic acts can also be used. Hmm. So that Batman fanfic you wrote in seventh grade, you were actually a a prophet. (laughs) Oh. Well, thank you. It seems to me that the most effective invocatory prayers are the ones we write ourselves, so I won't be posting an example until someone else already has. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kind of lazy. (laughs) So get to it and share what you come up with. Oh, this was just a clever way to get people to submit stuff to the site. Okay. All right, uh, just take us through the steps of the ritual, please. Ritual. Surround the ritual space in fetish items pertaining to the Batman. (laughs) Toys, comics, etc. You want to be reminded of the Batman wherever you may be looking. I own the Batman Arkham Asylum game, (laughs) Uh and I will turn it on and aim the camera at an angle that places a living, breathing Batman (laughs) on my TV screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. God. What the fuck? I've never seen a video game character look so creeped out. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you can also play music you associate with him, or burn incense that holds an association. There's guano He's incense. He's not capitalizing the H in him. Yeah. <laughs> there may there may be a timing issue when it comes to certain ritual implements. Right. In the above example, I leave the game running with the TV off. I turn it on what? as I reach the second part of the invocation. What the hell? Because it is. Hmm? I just what I don't understand. Well, it doesn't count if you can't see Batman. Oh, he's okay. not alive until you turn on the TV. <laughs> because well, you it wouldn't is want at to this take point Batman's image in vain, right? In second person to the Batman. <laughs> I then turn the TV off again when I get to the third part. It wouldn't make sense to speak of him in the first person if he is if he is standing in front of me. Yes, okay. no, that would be the first part of this that would not make sense. <laughs> yeah. Begin, as always, with the fourfold breath. Completely yeah. relax yourself into the magical state. Two, perform the BRBS. Again? Shit. Yeah. Th- those were cantrips, guys. Come on, really. You should be very... It should, it should be, like, second nature to you. I need to write a spell macro. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Three, begin reciting or performing the first part of the invocation. Be as emotionally involved as possible. <laughs> Which, again, should not be very hard for the sort of person trying this. How to live a fulfilling life. Become emotionally involved with pop culture. <laughs> That's what the internet would have us do. Mm -hmm. Pretend you are a street corner preacher telling anyone who will listen about the greatness of the Batman. Mm -hmm. He who is the Batman. He who killed the god of evil, etc. Mm -hmm. Which god of evil? Uh, I don't know. Does Batman? Batman doesn't even kill people, does he? No, he doesn't. Just he the god of evil. Them. But he did, okay. yeah, not people. Yeah, he, he oh, okay. kills people. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not That's up coming on my out later in the fanfic. Cool. <laughs> Visualize the Batman standing before you. Call out Batman <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. So he knows who you're talking to. Right. <laughs> Each time you say it, he becomes more solid. Once you are sure that he is standing in front of you, begin reciting or performing the second part of the invocation. <laughs> <laughs> you Play. who are the perfect man. You who are the Batman, etc. <laughs> butter him up good, you know. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> you know what the Batman likes to hear. Five. Step into the space occupied by your visualization. Feel the image wrap around you. This is getting hot. Match mm -hmm. your image, your posture to the image. Become the Batman. This technique is referred to as assuming the god form by Western esoteric practitioners. Uh -huh. Recite the third part of the invocation. I am the Batman. I am the world's greatest detective. Etc. <laughs> Thou shalt is have this... no other Batmans before me. Is this how to invoke a Batman, or is this just your general how to get laid guide? <laughs> I'm the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>! Yeah. <laughs> Work be works best at a costume party. Yeah. At this point, you should pay attention to any changes in your perception. Do you feel any different from your usual mode of consciousness? Mm hmm. Spend some time in this state. Go out and interact with people, <laughs> taking note of any differences from the way you are treated normally. <laughs> Make a YouTube video Punch of them it and, and, it and leave them hanging from streetlights. <laughs> Make sure to banish again by the end of the day, casting off the god form and returning to normal oh, consciousness. Oh, boo! Oh. <laughs> Why can't I just be Batman all the time? <laughs> Not even Batman can be Batman all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Charles, no being Batman before dinner. You'll spoil your appetite. <laughs> Mom, I'm assuming the godlike aspect. <laughs> you can't just stop being Batman. I'm sorry. He likes to assume the godlike aspect. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Boots. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an adversary, and I would like to, um, like, you know, do evil deeds to him, but I don't know. I'm lazy, so that seems like work. So is there a better way that I can, like, you know, get, kill someone that I hate? Yeah, you could use your holy bat binding. <laughs> sure. Good. Okay. If, if I'm understanding this correctly, which I'm probably not. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I don't know. <laughs> understanding it about as well as I am. Good. Yeah. Holy bat binding! Uh, instructions. Yep. I'm not going to give any preamble to this. <laughs> so, so here's the instructions for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One, choose a criminal. Okay. <laughs> not not a real criminal, but a criminal worthy of the Batman's <laughs> attention. That's you, Jack Chick. You're going down. Okay. Two, breathe deeply. <laughs> Google fourfold breath. On it. Three. Picture the Batman in your imagination. Focus your attention on who he is, how he came to be. <laughs> That's a terrible so you kept poem. The page break intact. <laughs> and unnecessary line breaks if necessary. Four. Tell him in plain language why you feel he should do something about the criminal. Um, Five. In a deliberate manner, paying close attention to all of your actions. Place the below image in an envelope. What is the below image? It's the the Batman symbol, and it says, "I saw you." <laughs> Ooh, that's terrifying! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, it's so scary! 
<laughs> oh, anyway. papyrus is such a terrifying font. <laughs> <laughs> There's lemons, source of all font humor for the F Plus podcast. <laughs> yeah, nobody's stepping on that. Nobody yeah. make a font joke or you're fucking oh, out. I, I gotta admit, no font jokes popped into my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you're putting that on an envelope. Yep. Address it to the criminal. Yep. Mail it. If you like, add graveyard dirt. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you know, kind of a lanyard. Wow, I, mm-hmm. got, I, I got this envelope, and inside it had a symbol of the Batman and some dirt. <laughs> oh, God. Run. There's one last step. Is the symbol of Batman made out of a crystal? <laughs> A reference to a previous episode. <laughs> really Good job. Budget. Thank you. Um, number six. Forget all about it and do something else. Yay! <laughs> Just skipped. Yay! Step six. <laughs> I liked how easy that was. That could be step one, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't say anything would happen, but, uh, you know, you got my note, Jack Jack, so, you know, just let me know what happens. Lemon <laughs> saw you. <laughs> I didn't see you. <laughs> the Batman saw you. Uh, I know that you've all been really troubled by the revolving door of Arkham. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's re- really a big concern for yeah. me. I'm it's gonna a be very produ- porous institution. <laughs> I'm going to be producing my own Willie Horton ad about Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Is Arkham like our like the, the, the Hades of our religion? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is how to restop the revolving door of Arkham. Demonology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demons are real beings made up of negative psychic energy living on the astral plane. Demons are metaphors for the negative emotional states within the psyche. Demons are the empty shells left over when the divine manifestation departs. I guess you just have to choose one of those sentences? No, so so, so are 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 they real or not real? Hmm, maybe maybe we'll find out. I'm not smart enough to f- I'm not smart enough to figure out what they really are. But just like you, there's a shit ton of them running around in my brain and making a nasty mess. So grab a broom and follow me. As always, the following is purely conjecture. Any more insightful approaches will be greatly appreciated. Oh dear. <laughs> You grab a broom and follow me. You just, I just picture he's the Bob Ross of exorcisms. And he's just like, come on. I was picturing Harry Potter, but okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Okay, we're going to paint a nice utility belt here. (laughs) Riddle me this. The Riddler is the demon of pride. He tells you how much better you are than everyone else. How much cooler and smarter, sentence fragment, always acting like he has the answers, but only speaking in riddles. You've heard his voice in your head, narrating the documentary that's all about you, quote, he was a wise and handsome man, so amazing and inspiring in every way. Here's how you throw him back in Arkham. Okay? You will need three candles. I use black, white, and yellow for air for the Riddler's element. element. I know what the Riddler's element is. You don't have to spell out every little thing. God. (laughs) is not the Riddler wear a lot of green? Why the fuck? Uh, It's purple and green, yes. Yeah. But his element is air. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck would you need candles to... Oh well, you'll God. find out. You'll also need a length of cord, uh, eucalyptus incense, and something to serve <laughs> idle. Well, that's because of the air element, right? Yeah, the eucalyptus well, yeah. incense. Is well, Riddler right. is part koala. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sweet hero clicks Riddler figure. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> pretty sweet. It's not. It's not related Jeremy. in any way. I just wanted you to know about that. Jeremy yeah, on the other side of the cul-de-sac is totally jealous of it. Here is absolutely a picture of it. Um, a sigil would be fine as well. One part of the ritual involves the use of the black mirror. I'm still experimenting with this and can't really judge if it works yet. The image of the demon is supposed to show up in the mirror. It's the secret of. Goetic evocation, or so I'm told by some YouTube video. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what it actually his says, folks. Source? <laughs> it actually says that. <laughs> clearly, clearly, he is a scientist. Yeah. <laughs> Citation YouTube. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, video says. <laughs> yeah. The video says that one must use the mirror of polished obsidian. So I bought a cheap frame and spray painted the black. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. Take two. Yes. <laughs> what, what did you use for your polished okay. obsidian? Well, no, no. I need to start okay. out. All right. Sorry. <laughs> the video says that one must use a mirror of polished obsidian. So okay. I bought a cheap frame and spray painted the back of the glass black. <laughs> so it's the same thing. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, the demons don't know the difference. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's probably the all recipes approach to uh to spellcasting. <laughs> oh no. He's he's broken into hysterics. The Joker got him. <laughs> what, quick, quick. How do we stop that? Okay, how do we like, put it back? Stop that. Okay, set up the black mirror within a triangle of candles and place the idol in front of it. Once again, this would be my little like happy meal figurine. It's totally sweet. <laughs> it's a hero click. It then totally sweet. perform banishing. Then perform the invocation of the Batman. We have to do that a lot. Then mm-hmm. light incense and candles. Then stare into and through the black mirror. The reflection of the smoke and the candle flames might be the key to this trick. Who knows? Mm. <laughs> it's easier to see through it if it's harder to see. In your best Batman voice, call to the Riddler. Demand that he enter the triangle. I did this for about ten minutes when I found myself talking like a stuffed-up Christian Bale and shouting, Show yourself, Nigma. Oh, my God. Sweet. Can we get video of this shit? Because holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the guy's name is, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Freighter Isla? So just look for that name on YouTube. See if you can find him casting this sweet spell. Uh, meanwhile... Uh, once you feel his presence, get all alpha chimp and start interrogating. Ask whatever you like. See what happens. This is where it can get weird. Mmm. <laughs> Especially if you have people over. <laughs> <laughs> Just my conjuring, Guys, buddy. Let me show you something really cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ba 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 uh, take the cord and tie three knots in it. As you tie each knot, say Zer in R. Are we supposed to know what that means? Is no, that a Batman no, thing? no. Maybe it's more. It's better if it's mysterious. Oh, it's a speaking in tongues kind of thing. Command the Riddler into the idol. Tell him he's going back to Arkham and he won't be allowed out unless you say so. Wrap the cord around the idol. As you do so, imagine Riddler sitting in his cell, the door slamming shut on him. Then, put the idol away for later use. In hero clicks. <laughs> I... You're in the hero clink. Wow. Oh, that... That wasn't bad. <laughs> this template can easily be... Ad- yeah, it's a really good joke because no one laughed. Okay, this template can easily be adopted to fit any of Batman's foes. Replace incense and candle door with appropriate substitutes. <laughs> so you could just swap out whatever parts of the spell, you know. Just whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, so, uh, I'm, yeah, so that was kind of, uh, like a crazy, like, uh, sort of a crazy person there. Um. Yeah. You know, like, he's worshipping Batman, that's weird. Worshipping comic book uh, characters is so stupid. Sh- hang on! Hang on, I wouldn't <laughs> judge that exactly. What? Uh, because, uh, here's a Tumblr of somebody that worships Tony Stark. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I, I completely take back what I said. <laughs> well, good. Then if you'll no, read... This is a, a religion I can get behind. <laughs> yeah. If you'll, uh, if you'll read... You know what? Actually, no. Let's, uh, let's read a chant here. This chant is called, I Believe in Tony. It's fine if you'll take that, please. <laughs> okay. I think we covered this in the, uh, in the petition episode. <laughs> <laughs> the mechanic, the maker... Creator of iron and steel, and of Jarvis, the lone voice of reason. <laughs> I believe in Tony, who was born an ironmonger, oh. who was kidnapped and mortally wow. wounded, who was not meant to live, was in prison threatened and made accomplice, who refused to become a monster, and in doing so save his own skin. <laughs> he emerged from the cave a changed man and returned to his home. And there, dedicated himself to great works and donned his own armor to keep people safe. (laughs) 
I believe in Tony. Of innovation, of the dullest of times, of transparency before criticism, of wit in tight corners, and the possibility of redemption, and most of all, in creation. Oh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're going to get it one of these days, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not there yet, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll happen soon. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's amazing. Isfahan spent hours uh, learning the, the proper cadence of that one. And, uh, <laughs> and he got it perfectly right on there. So, Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Jack, uh, this one's for you. It's another uh, just sort of a little, little prayer to St. St. Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> this is Ave Antonius. <laughs> Ave Antonius. No, oh. Ave Antonius. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Yep. Before you read this, can somebody tell me about the person who's writing this? Oh, Jack. Jack, Jack can tell you exactly everything about that. Well, this is by Foxy, a.k.a. Lee. Mm-hmm. Loki devotee on Yay! probation. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Sometimes probation. Pro- oh, no. <laughs> sometimes prophet of the god of thieves. Mm-hmm. Companion of Davy Jones. Oh, Jesus. In, in, the, oh, wow. in the locker, maybe? I don't... Yes. Probably no, Teenage no, the, the, the Ninja monkey. Turtles Davy Jones. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the, monkey. the monkey. The monkey. I pray to both St. Jude the Apostle and St. Tony the Avenger. Cartomancer, oh, witch Christ. on a budget, curse worker, animus, what? beginning ancestor worshiper, who's in ching- into pop culture paganism. <laughs> IRL Avenger, culture neutral, wicked witch. Uh, that is chaotic <laughs> neutral. Uh, what, uh, can, you, can you give me your resume, please? I'm a mod at Loki E-Shrine. Good. I run a pop culture pagan E-Shrine. Good. Yep. I have a non-pagan blog. Sometimes I live blog things. Do you? I... And I do tarot readings. <laughs> Ooh, how much do they cost? Uh, general three card draw, two dollars U.S. <laughs> American. <laughs> I'm uh, more of a five card stud person, P- but okay. P P slash P slash F three card draw, two dollars American. Jesus Ellipse Christ. reading four dollars and fifty cents American. Celtic cross five bucks fifty. Stuck reading seven bucks and a That's... pendulum reading. This is the deal three fifty. <laughs> is that a reading while you're stuck in mud? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the stuck reading is when you flip all the cards over and you go, uh, okay, this is death. That means, um, um, oh, I think it's uh, just, just looking down at your hand real quick. <laughs> Oh, I, I used to know this one. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. If you'll take uh, uh, Ave Antonius. Okay. Hail, Tony, full of booze. Thy suit is with thee. <laughs> blessed art thou with game. And blessed is the fruit of thy labor, Jarvis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is some of the stupidest readings we've ever done. <laughs> the song stopped for some oh. reason. What happened? <laughs> get it back, get it back, get it back! Oh. <laughs> one, 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 se- <laughs> one second, one second. Yeah. Holy Tony, who is Iron Man? Pray for our computers. <laughs> oh, come on. Now and at the hour of their overheating. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Closer, better, come closer. Come on, the baseline. Yeah. yeah. God, that was. <laughs> These people can't be serious. Holy Tony, who is Iron Man? Pray for our computers. Now, well, I guess, I guess Tumblr, I guess they really do. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> These guys can't be real. Oh, wait, they're on Tumblr. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was uh, that was uh, Iron Man religion. Um, now we're going over to My Little Pony. Friendship is pagan. 
Yeah, you see, oh, yeah, see, it, it is, it, it is fake. She's she's not really meaning it because I looked at her profile and and her real god is uh, Robin Hood. So. <laughs> 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 Actually, her profile says she pretty much worships anything she kind of likes. So. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. Uh. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do let's do this one first instead. Um. So this is My Little Pony. Friendship is pagan. Uh. <laughs> come quad. <laughs> come quad. What the hell is this shit anyway? <laughs> that's that's the text that's on the page. That's the text yeah. that's on the page. <laughs> That's the text that's on the page. <laughs> the, 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 the right side nav is, ask me anything, submit. What the hell is this shit anyway? <laughs> List of tags. That's probably the most frequently asked question, <laughs> really. Uh, uh, my little pony, friendship is pagan. Right. What the hell is this shit? Anyway, uh, pop culture witchcraft. Could be considered an extension of chaos magic. Yeah. In that as long as you feed something long enough, it'll do things for you. Um, (laughs) nope. Uh, (laughs) No. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what this is, essentially. (laughs) The idea behind friendship is pagan, is that a few witches and polytheists (laughs) noticed that the ponies are essentially pagans, <laughs> with a lot of parallels. Well, that I'm sure you're yeah. right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah. a result, we began to joke yeah. about the idea of practicing a religion based on pony. <laughs> do which? Do yeah. Do do. Eventually stopped being a joke and grew from there. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, guys, let's let's take this seriously now. Yeah. It's yeah. like, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, we yeah. should actually worship this cartoon, guys, for real, though. I was serious. Yeah. You guys you guys weren't serious? Oh, I'm kind of disappointed in you. I was serious. I don't think you guys are true fans now. Essentially, the practice revolves around the evoking of the princesses, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the growth of oneself, and one's interpersonal relationships magic, of course. Of course. Um, Sure. Then, practicing the morals of the elements of harmony in everyday life. Friendship as pagan is meant to be as open as possible. Okay. You do not need to be initiated to be a pony theist. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> is that recognized, like, is this in the census? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, although you do to join a coven. <laughs> My, I'm really um... disappointed in myself that I didn't come up with a pun for coven. I'm gonna be a. Uh, I'm gonna be the Martin Luther of uh, pony theism. <laughs> <laughs> Nail a screed to the stable door. <laughs> it's up to them how they go about it. But you do need to take it seriously. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, what's the fucking point? Otherwise, you're yeah. just yeah. joking around about worshipping this stuff and not actually worshipping this stuff. Alright, well, yeah. so what are, what are the tenets of your uh, yeah. pony theism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bullet, bullet point one of my 14 points. <laughs> the, well, five, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The princesses are personifications of abstract concepts. They are not deities. <laughs> <laughs> the closest we get to calling them deities is patroness. Oh, for, for oh, half for a second, sake. I forgot I was on Tumblr. So thank you very much for like <laughs> agonizing over word choice so, to remind yes. me where I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think you meant cogitating over word choice. <laughs> hey, hey, you didn't say trigger warning on that cogitate. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Bullet point number two. 
the morals code is the elements of harmony. Right. So, okay, yeah. Well, I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. So, next point. Bullet point number three. Devotionals are to be fun and joyful experiences. I don't know what that sentence means either. <laughs> this is going to help people explain to people who don't know what the hell this shit is, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, don't we know so much more than we did before going yeah. in? <laughs> no, bullet point number four. Holidays change as the show and more episodes are oh, up to hey. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's great. Oh, list of my little pony holidays. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't come into work today. You see, there was an episode, and it declared this upcoming Monday to be a new holy pony day. Yeah, so we're just going to mark that as a vacation day then, right? <laughs> Fired. That does... you, already, you already took off Yom Kippur. I, I'm taking this seriously. Otherwise, what's the point? You oh. seem to think that these guys can get jobs. Uh, there mm. are uh, two dates... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, different pony holidays. What? Well, they've almost <laughs> caught up with uh, with the U.S. <laughs> we have what? Twelve? Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Hey, anyway, keep going. I, I, uh, uh, feel free to adapt this to your own practice <laughs> if you prefer. That's why we've avoided calling the princesses deities. They can be adapted. Oh, see, Lemon, don't you feel silly now? I, I actually have a suggestion for your religion. I think it would make it so much better. I think, I think that uh, this would really just improve your numbers and just make everything a lot more fun. Okay, snake handling. All of you should handle live <laughs> snakes all the time. <laughs> just see what happens. <laughs> they won't do it until they handle live snakes in the show. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, one more bit on the friendship is pagan here. Uh, Boots, uh, you mm -hmm. have some uh, Bible study for us. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I have the friendship is pagan rewatch week one uh, instructions here. <laughs> Good. Uh, I need instructions to... for watching a TV show. Oh, uh, yes. And this, this refers to a previous instruction post, which I'm assuming you've all read. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, sure. So we're just going to go ahead uh, with your reading material for this week. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, watch the first five episodes, The Elements of Harmony, Part 1 and 2, Ticketmaster, <laughs> Apple Bucking Season, and Griffin the Brush Off. Okay. B blog sure. your reactions slash thoughts with the tags Friendship oh, is Pagan mm -hmm. and FIP Rewatch. Now, uh, I've put spaces in these and no hashtags, so it's not going to work that well. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yep. So we can find it, which we won't. <laughs> we'll reblog your re responses. <laughs> Uh, focus questions if you don't know what to write. Number one. What did we learn about equestrian theology in these episodes? Oh How does that apply God. to modern human lives slash values? Two. How were the elements of harmony, laughter, generosity, kindness, loyalty, honesty, and magic demonstrated in these episodes? How can those demonstrations apply to our lives in practice? I don't Number know. three. <laughs> it's like Boots was waiting for an answer for him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just stunned silence, apparently. <laughs> Got like a Just pony a, in the headlights. I don't know. I have a blank page, so uh, <laughs> it, I think that says a lot. Um, <laughs> what did we learn about the princesses? Princesses. I don't know how to say princesses. Yeah. At this point, Luna and Celestia, in these episodes... How can that apply to our lives, practices, and relationships with the princesses? And four, what sort of spell or ritual can be made from these episodes? Uh, but just wanted to mention that, like, I didn't, I didn't like that part a little bit ago where you made fun of this guy for not knowing how tags work. Like, I just felt that that was like, oh, it's <laughs> that, that was just that was just a fucked up just lobby or just a fucked up insult because this post is tag is tagged friendship is pagan fip rewatch pagan <laughs> witchcraft gift warning. I, I gift, did want to point warning. out the, the gift warning. Gift it's warning. Like, I don't yeah. even know what that means. <laughs> I like I like that yeah, it's a gift it's a warning that there's a gift there, but the, the comes warning comes after. way after the gift. Yep, <laughs> because that's how Tumblr is formatted. <laughs> you see the post and then you see the tags. Okay. 
Um, so, um, so there is, um, I don't want to, you know, I know that you're like being, in, you know, you're being initiated into this whole world and you're, and you're interested and I don't want to, um, you know, besmirch it a little bit, but I do have to just, you know, warn you in, in fairness that there is a bit of drama in the pop culture pagan Tumblr community. No, oh, no. really? Not surprising. Really, there's, yeah, really, there's is, drama in a Tumblr community. That is that is surprising. Um, so this is Nicholas Nickers. Um, he's a transgender person. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, he is a pop culture pagan. Uh, he got in some sort of fight with Tumblr people. It doesn't really matter, but here's his screed about it. Um, Jack, if you'll take that, please. I really just don't give a shit anymore if you think my practice is a joke. (laughs) I could care less if you think I'm deluded in deifying and worshipping my story characters. These characters have gotten me through some rough times, and they Mm -hmm. teach me life lessons. They correct me when I'm wrong, when I make a wrong, and they give me love when I make a right. (laughs) I personalize them in the beginning to fit my needs. Yes! But after that, they became their own being, still tied to my mind, but reigning free regardless. Do these characters ever teach you a life lesson to not post on Tumblr about your stupid fucking religion? No. No, (laughs) No. they don't. (laughs) Maybe one day. That would be counterproductive for them. (laughs) PC paganism is not an easy way out. By having such close relationship with these figures, you are setting yourself up to always do your best in worship, in your practice, or in your workings with them. They know you, therefore they demand a lot out of you. It's the same as any other pagan star practice. Oh my god. (laughs) With the same demands and the same rules, we know not to appropriate, with a capital A, not to be sexist and racist and cis exist. Is that cis sexist? sexist? Yeah. Yeah. Cis sexist, just like everyone else in the community knows. Hey, kids, Eek the Cat wants you to respect black people. Yeah. (laughs) But whatever I say, whatever words I try to sugarcoat for you so that you can see my side or fuck or even take pity on me. That's what you're really looking for. I don't give a rat's ass if you want to erase me and validate me, shame me. Are these Nine Inch Nails lyrics? <laughs> uh, KMFDM lyrics. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I am a drug against war! <laughs> <laughs> I could care less. Which is yeah, why you, I'm posting Wait, wait you targets. could care less at the beginning of yeah, this. Yeah, earlier he could care, care less. less. <laughs> oh, now, see, he... <laughs> As he was typing this, he cared even less, and now oh, he cannot he care. That point to the ring. Yeah, yeah, no, dude, the, the, yeah. the so script, sad. it's been flipped. <laughs> <laughs> I am just too tired dealing with your shaming behavior. You're not fit to lick the dirt off my Doc Martens. Of course he fucking wears Doc Martens. <laughs> Surprise, Martins. Doc Martens. Also, he misspelled Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he did. This is because I am comfortable in my warship, and I just feel so bad for you, seeing as how you have nothing better to do but attack me. I understand the PC path is not for everyone, and I will defend non-PC pagans with my last dying breath, but I will never defend people who are so intolerant, so hate-filled, and just so blinded. There are worse things in this community than who I dedicate my loyalty and prayer to. Perhaps you should be using your spit and scathing remarks for them. Love, a pop culture pagan who pities you. Oh. I just spent 300 oh. words telling you about how I don't care what you think. Yeah, yeah. So we are at that point uh, where I need to uh, pose a question to you. Um, mm-hmm. Of which um, pop culture pagan bit of fiction um, you would rather hear. Um, the first one is called Methods of Magical Transportation. Um, it's about, uh, Harry Potter and motorcycles. Yes. Um, <laughs> the second, yes. the second part is, uh, or the second piece is called, and the best part, I won't be slamming into a canyon wall, and it's about Kegon Jin from Star Wars. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I believe you Harry mean Potter. Qui-Gon Jin. thank you. Okay, yeah. sure. Yep. I'm gonna, Harry I'm gonna vote for the Harry Potter Harry one. Potter. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do Harry Potter. Is there a title to this? Uh, yes, methods of me- uh, methods of magical transportation, part one: serious, serious black motorcycle. Okay, good, <laughs> great. Yep. Okay. 
One of the first methods of transportation that we read about in the Sorcerer's Stone is Sirius Black's motorcycle. SS, pages 13 to 14. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> the citation. Chapter, chapter for... <laughs> if, if you're located in Britain, it's P.S. pages 13 yes. <laughs> Now, now actually, like, if you're, if you're citing a page in a Harry Potter book, I don't think that that would really, like, even out, because I think that, like, the pages could change depending on... On the, the edition? Print. Yeah. Well, not even just the edition. Like, or copy yeah, or the paperback? Right. Please, we're assuming hard copy. Oh, I suppose you would. Who <laughs> said that with his eyes closed? <laughs> his eyes closed and rubbing his temple. I actually did say yeah. that with my eyes closed. <laughs> See, it came through in your delivery. Hey, good rides onto the scene with baby Harry riding a huge and rather large, loud motorcycle. Okay. When asked who he got it from, Heg replies that it was Sirius's. Later in the series, the bike is used again to get Harry to safety. There are a few modes of magical transportation mentioned throughout the series, including apparition, flu powder, port keys, <laughs> and a flying car, just to name a few. I will talk more about these other methods as, as I come to them in the series. Okay, is this is this? Are you writing in future tense or past tense? You need to decide. Yeah, that's that's not very scholarly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm implying that there was a, there'd be future. Uh, editions of this series of uh, articles that I'm writing. Sure, okay. Uh, an idea I had for these images is to use them for other world travel. Okay. An individual could conjure up the preferred method of transportation and travel to the realm of Harry Potter. <laughs> they could go to Diagon's Alley, Hogwarts, the Burrow, etc. Since the motorcycle is specifically I, used I... to get Harry to what is considered a safe place for him, I think it could be used for escaping dangerous situations. Are there, hmm. are there places yep, in the Harry sure. Potter universe that are off limits? <laughs> yes. I, okay. I, <laughs> I like how they didn't even fucking get the name of one of the places right. Gandalf's Sex Dungeon? This place. <laughs> what? No, it's because it's Diagon Alley because it's diagonally. Like, that's the whole pun of the name. <laughs> and they added an S in there. Oh, yeah. These people, yeah, it's kind of weird that these people don't meticulously spell all their stuff correctly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm... I mean, I hate to be all Harry Potter nerd, but like... <laughs> you, that, like you, you, you just out Harry Potter nerd a Harry yeah. Potter nerd. Congratulations. I mean, also, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Within yeah, the, and let's the, say, liturgy of uh, pop culture <laughs> pagans, wouldn't this be sacrilegious? <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep going. I speculate that maybe Sirius's motorcycle has the ability to fit the rider, seeing as how Hagrid is much larger than the other main characters in the series, and yet he is still able to ride it comfortably. But I have no other evidence for this idea. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should just, like, fucking relax and just enjoy the story. <laughs> Can you just copy-paste that, like, at the end of every sentence? <laughs> you said some words to me, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure these are only a few of the many ways that the methods of magical transportation could be used. Let me know if you come up with any more. Absolutely. Well, good. Now yeah. we can take Methods of Magical Transportation Part 2, Hogwarts Express. <laughs> come what? I think that's yours. <laughs> Tell me about the Hogwarts Express. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> totally didn't see that voice coming. What a surprise. <laughs> Hi, hello! hello. Uh, the, the Hogwarts Express is a scarlet steam engine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, like how, oh. I like how Kumquat can only talk about oh, like My it. Little Pony and <laughs> Harry Potter stuff while we're actually on top of a train. <laughs> <laughs> that takes the students from London to Hogwarts. <sighs> uh-huh. <laughs> Harry first sees the train on page 93 of the Sockerer Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Please, in England they call it football. Even I know that's wrong. <laughs> it's that YouTube video where the poor kid kicks a, kicks a stone that's painted like a soccer ball. I, I won the World Cup of Harry Potter! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
after running through the wall between platforms nine and ten, platforms nine and three quarters. For me, part of taking the hard work express would be having to enter through platform nine and three quarters. I feel like they're a part of each other and cannot be separated. You do feel yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Despite what everyone else tries to say, you still feel like that. <laughs> Now, the Hogwarts <laughs> Express is only mentioned uh -huh. <laughs> during, during, during certain periods of the book, going to Hogwarts for the year, leaving for holidays, returning, and leaving for the end of the year, if I remember correctly, but it doesn't say anywhere that it doesn't run at any other times again, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, it would be way too much work for me and my Harry Potter fandom to go and actually look at the fucking book. <laughs> it's a big book. So, we can imagine that it could take us to and from Hogwarts at any time that we seek to be there as a way of traveling from our realm to the wizarding realm and back again. <laughs> Let me know what you think, and someone please correct me if I remembered it correctly. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> You're not very sure of yourself. The Witch of Fantasy dot com. Like, what the fuck else is this do dude doing? Where he's too busy to go and look at a fucking Harry Potter book to like just make sure that he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Carol, are you are you encouraging these people to spend more time reading their pop culture stuff? Yes. Well, it is like it yeah. is weird that that yeah. The, I, don't, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do yeah. it, go big or go home, you know. <laughs> Jack Chicks is like double down, bitches. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Read more Harry Potter. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not like they're doing I just anything can't else. Stop with their picturing Conquat like telling us this stuff while we're skydiving or something. <laughs> <laughs> just like the voices he used. <laughs> This is the worst skydiving trip ever. I'm trying to just enjoy I was just trying to get the rush, and I just, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm the guy who takes you on a skydiving tour, and you're strapped to me, and you're forced to listen <laughs> yeah. to me yelling this in your Hello! 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 All right, Harry, all right, Harry Potter guy, we're going to pull our shoots on three, okay? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, good, he's gone. <laughs> Just, just if, if you ever have a captive audience, that is it. Captain America, we love you. Captain America, you're And there we go! Around about an hour of This Is My Dumb Fate. Do 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 Boots, what'd you learn this week? Uh, I, I'm not sure if I learned much, but I have sure spent a good hour walking around in a circle uh, with <laughs> Gotham City sticking out of my chest, so that's fun. <laughs> Are you different? Are you changed? Did it work for you? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I started a Tumblr account. <laughs> sure, yeah, Tumblr's uh, Tumblr's pretty terrific for that. It's it's so odd that like there, I feel like there's a number of topics that this has happened with. I, I it, Loki wives and um, the um, the My Little Pony like mm -hmm. uh, thing and the waifu thing, mm -hmm. like. There's so many of these topics where, like, literally people will go, like, oh, yeah, you know, we started this off as a joke. Like, like I was, like, talking to my friends. I was, like, Batman is my god. And then I was, like, hang on, no, really, Batman is my god. <laughs> like, yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's 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 funny how uh, like you know you can you can take something as a joke, you can register a domain, you can start a, a Tumblr thing, and then you know you'd be like, yeah, let's see if people buy into it, and then people buy into it, and you realize I am the Pope of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, it worked for L. Ron Hubbard, yeah. uh, and he was able to live a long and, and happy and fulfilled <laughs> life um, from the religion that he invented uh, for good with good reasons. Um, so you know, like if 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 we can all aspire to be like L. Ron Hubbard, uh, I think we've pretty much all. <laughs> we're this all podcast has taken a dark turn. <laughs> in good shape. Um, yeah, this uh, this was another one uh, from Armenia Hart, uh, and those ladies are doing terrific, terrific work. Um, yes, in these yes. submissions. Thank I'm, you so much. Uh, I I I like once you have it explained to you, like this is a thing that exists. You go, yeah, sure, I'm, I believe you. 
<laughs> but before that point, you would never conceive that anyone would actually, you know, like start start a genuine church of Doctor Who. Um, so yes, thank you, and uh, you can submit stuff as well on t h e f p l dot us. Uh, that is the site for Thief Plus. Uh, I just registered the domain for another year, so we're going for that much longer at least. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck with us. <laughs> um, and also, if you uh, worship the Taco Bell dog from the 90s, uh, mm-hmm. tell us about it on Ball Pit. Yeah. That's B-A-L-L-P dot I-T. A much more expensive domain, by the way, because you have to buy it from Italy. It's like $35 as opposed to the 11 so... You know, oh. I uh, really put in the <laughs> really put in the money for that one. Yeah, we are committed to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Goodbye. Captain America's our man. Captain America's our man. I'm gonna create another point here. Check check. What the hell are you doing when you talk? <laughs> <laughs> He's seething. Uh, what do you mean? This this is this is all crazy amount of noise happening in your room while you're talking. Weird. And then it stops when you don't. I, I I'm literally not. Scra- I assume you're just scratching your beard like simultaneously with what's happening. <laughs> let me let me adjust. Let me adjust. Oh, microphone. <laughs> you're pretty loud anyway, so you can move the mic a little bit further away. Yeah. Oh, Actually, I think well, the beard yeah. noise adds a lot to to what he's reading. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> what's the sound of a fedora? <laughs>